Starting next week, the Denver Museum of Nature and Science is going to be looking for volunteers, especially families, to put their taste buds to the test. Our Joel Hill in live now. Joel, you got a preview of this test. Yeah, Dominic, this is a meal like uh, you would eat on any night for dinner out there. It's got a little bit of sour, it's got a little bit of savory in it. And how we taste those two flavors can be drastically different. What they want to know is that based on our DNA and genetics. It's the basis of a new study that's been founded and funded by the National Institute of Health. The Denver Museum of Nature and Science is launching a new study to figure out what our tongue tells us when we eat certain foods and why. I mean, for me, it kind of reminds me of like pho or some sort of, yeah, nice. like Vietnamese food. It tasted like top ramen to me. What they're describing is what savory tastes like. I thought it was quite delicious as well. Christina and Chelsea joined me in participating in this new taste test for science. It's part of the study about how sour affects the taste of savory foods and the genetics behind it. Everyone eats. Taste was a natural choice for us to study. After a quick DNA swab, filling out some information and plugging our noses, we were ready. Even though we have this really fun experience, the more basic information we can learn about how humans work, the better that we can design things and foods that are healthier for people but still taste really good. And like all good science experiments, the results may surprise you. I don't eat a lot of meat. I'm pretty much a vegetarian, and so I didn't think I was going to like the taste. But I thought it was really good. Now, this study is going to run. It starts on Monday, and it runs through August at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Again, they're looking for especially families, but they need 2,500 people to participate in this study. The study here tonight is going to start here in just a moment and be a participant of one. Live in Denver, Joel Hillen covering Colorado First. All right, Joel, eat up.